My great-grandfather, Dr. R Dr. Richard F. Brady, was a surgeon at the Drum Tower Hospital for about 10 years during the period of the Rape of Nanking. And my grandfather grew up there as well. Brady 当时是在一九三七年的十二月啊，把家人送到香港以后，就要返回南京参与这样一个救治，呃，但是呢，受到了日本人的阻拦，他历经了千辛万苦，又重新在一九的三八年的二月份，又回到了南京，和沃尔顿医生和其他的团队，呃，投入到救治伤员这个行动中来。My dad telling me that he, my grandfather had just bought a brand new uh, 1934 Ford V8 and they landed in Shanghai and, and got off the ship. Doesn't surprise me at all that, uh, that they would have taken the seat out and turned it into an ambulance. It was just not even a thought. It was just what they did. about all that went on and uh, all the people who tried to help and um, how they got through the hard times. When my great-grandfather and his family left China, he carried the Red Cross flag from the safety zone. I think it represents um, hope in a period of tremendous darkness, um, uh, an icon of peace and safety represents peace and uh, working together and coming together to help people. In 1998, my grandfather donated the flag to Irish Chang, the author of The Rape of Nanking, as she has done so much to make sure the truth of that event was known around the world. So early on, I would ask my girls, I said, this is what my grandfather did. Um, what can you do to, to, to honor him and honor, to honor the survivors of that massacre? And my older daughter said to me, she said, can I write a song? And I said, absolutely. And so she wrote a song in honor of uh, uh, Minnie Vautrin and of the survivors who she was able to meet and hear their stories. Uh, my younger daughter, Carly, um, is a writer and she is deeply committed to having the, her stories uh, be built on messages of peace and compassion and empathy. The Red Cross flag back, brought back by my grandfather was donated to Irish Chang and at the same time this flag remained in the hearts of every, fem every member of our family and it, it really makes us think nowadays if a flag uh, of that size could have that kind of impact, what can we all do to have impacts as well? To understand uh, the power of kindness and uh, peace can be possible for everyone and um, likes to make, bring awareness to what happens and um, make sure it's not forgotten. In order to truly achieve world peace, we all need to be asking ourselves, what can I do? And on a daily basis, do something toward peace, no matter how small it may seem.